Chums the Tar, and I'm here to share with you a very quick uh, presentation about straight line endo axis. And uh, before we go, I wanted to convey a message to my non Arabic speaking Facebook friends. I do apologize for them for having most of my educational videos in Arabic and uh, it's just uh, they're, they're not the only ones because even non-Egyptians have sometimes some problems understanding my accent I'm working on that the second message here that I would like to uh, thank uh, my secret admirer I just uh, discovered today that I have someone that I have all respect to that was following my work and appreciated it despite uh, the language barrier and that's why I'm appreciated for her too and uh, finally I'd like to tell you that uh, today I'm going to teach you how to be an evil teacher if you choose to be like myself and I'll tell you how this is the quick this is we have as I mentioned I have I do have a course in Arabic about endo axis in my YouTube channel uh, and uh, this is just part of the presentation that I'm yet to finish and publish and I chose to share with you in English so you get a feel and sense of what I'm doing the straight line axis that we refer to here is definitely not what's in the picture this is just only a joke and I have to thank here my very good friend Zavidia from Lithuania because uh, at one time in a meeting we were sitting there and she did show me the photo on her mobile and I said please what's up it to me and I, I used I decided to use in this uh, uh, my axis presentations the course we talked about the straight line axis let's talk business here now straight line axis as you can see on the first on the diagram on the right this is a situation where you have the orifice is partially on the floor and the rest on the wall and that creates a very difficult situation sometimes especially for unexperienced operators and now this is the corrected one where you can see the orifice is totally on the floor of the pop chamber and this red arrow here both on the picture and the diagram is where reflecting that this is the wall that you need to remove as you can see it in green so clinically you can see the direction of the file is cutting more uh, straightened not inside the canal but on the coronal aspect because of removing this the, the interfering wall and this is what is meant by the straight line axis and uh, occlusally this is how it looks and of course this is part of the uh, section talking about the conservative axis as the top picture and the traditional axis in the lower one we have the conclusions at the end and we're not, we don't have time to discuss this but this is the evil part here this is the case I'd like to share with you despite the fact that might not be the best educational case but what I want to take out of it here is I want to apply the straight line axis on this case in particular and show you how easy it makes your life how, how it makes your life easier if you know what you're doing of course and if you trace the canal as you can see it in here and that was a student that came to me and asked me undergraduate student of course and she said I'm having problems getting my file into the canal I sure you do because this is the access this is the approach you're trying to achieve she says I can see the orifice in the mirror but when I try to get in there with my fingers and my file I cannot get it in there of course you will not be able to because the only situation to be able to do that here is if you lay down on the patient tongue and kind of rest your back on the oropharynx then you're ready to you're able to uh, get into the canal and the poor patient will pay for that we I see this a lot and they keep asking the patients please open up your mouse can you open wider and it's not the problem it's in our hands to solve and uh, because this is the situation the orifice partially on the wall you need to take that wall away so you're able to have a straight line access to the canal and so what I did is this is the evil part here I bring the file and I pre-bend pre-curve the file as you can see to compensate for instead of having to go all the way into the patient mouth and then I have the file bend uh, pre-curve it this way put my water and in a second I managed to slip the file inside the canal and then the kindest part of me I tell her okay now you can see and I stand in there I have her sit down can you watch it please look at the file before you take it out of the canal Are you okay fine 
take it out now and I stand there most of the time the patients are their friends which was the case in, in our case here so I decided to have the it was the friend of the operators she was a friend of the of, of the student so uh, I kept watching her trying and trying to get back into the canal and she couldn't so I took over and I told her this is what you need to do and you, you need to have a straight line access to the orifice and that part in blue as you can see in here is what you need to remove okay and once you do that and you take that wall away you should be able to insert have the orifice on the floor and then your approach will be the green one like you do in here simply because of that triangle that you remove compared to the what your original triads were so in a very simple way straight line access sometimes is a need but to be honest now our fellow uh, co-success uh, friends here our partners the companies that produce the, the technology and they work on now the heat treated files and we'll talk about that in the course where you're able to to bend the file and the control memory file and you can control it and keep it bent and put it there despite the situation you can also strain it, stress the file on the canal touching the wall without being scared of the file separation which would you, you would have if you have an unheat treated file but anyway so the concept is there and we just need to know where to apply it it is not totally gone and uh, as a sign of good gesture i'm going to share with you my take home point from the arabic presentation coming this is my recommendation for the access form access opening for the endo cases you want your access to be small enough to preserve a pericervical dentin and we know what that pericervical dentin means but on the same time it needs to be large enough to allow for locating canals and cleaning them like the uh, the church of the speech if you know what I mean okay so uh, thank you very much and I do appreciate you listening and uh, follow me in Arabic if you want to you take care now bye